What's up guys, Adli Sean here, and today we're going to review a surprising new game called Remnant from the Ashes. Let's take a look. Remnant from the Ashes is a spectacular but punishing game that takes the Dark Souls formula and revamps it by focusing on long-range combat using a variety of different guns. At times, the game can feel incredibly demanding with reoccurring difficulty spikes and boss battles that feel like they require you to bring a few friends along for the ride. That paired with the game's disappointing amount of gear and weapon rewards hold it back from reaching the greatest heights of the Dark Souls series. However, what's here is a highly polished Souls-like game that feels incredible to play alone and with two other companions. Whether you go at it alone or with your team of three, you'll be traveling across randomly generated maps to fight a variety of different monsters in order to find stronger loot. The desolate world that Gunfire Games has developed is fun to explore with many secrets that lie inside. The story, however, could use a little bit more work. The post-apocalyptic tale of humanity's fight against the root leaves a lot to be desired. Many of the characters lack personality and just aren't very memorable. The voice acting is okay when it is there, but there wasn't enough to make me care about most of the people I came across throughout my adventure. I did not expect... You? You are not he. Yet you have opened the gates. What the game lacks in story, however, it more than makes up for with stunning visuals and remarkable environments. Every zone is beautifully designed and instills a dark, sinister feeling as you discover new environments and enemy types. The game ran incredibly smooth and offered a lot of different details. The particle effects on the crystals are vibrant and stunning. The enemy models are varied and creative and gives you an uneasy feeling every time you go toe to toe. From desolate deserts that have you trying to survive against wild animals and the indigenous people who live there, to broken down cities filled with demons and other creatures that are trying to take your life, each environment comes to life as a unique locale carefully interwoven into the overall presentation. Progressing through the game is as simple as entering a new zone, wandering until you find a door to the next dungeon, fight the enemies inside, kill the boss, and repeat. The zones you enter are small enough to avoid getting lost, but big enough so it doesn't feel too linear. Each area utilizes a variety of pre-made components and randomly builds them into a level when they're loaded for the first time. The random generation also applies to the boss battles. One playthrough may turn out completely different from the next. And since beating a boss supplies you with a unique trait, the way you experience progression through the game will change as well. While playing Grimnit, we could tell Gunfire Games put a lot of work into making gunplay feel snappy and polished. Each shot delivers a satisfying blow to the enemies you face. They feel powerful enough to make it feel like you're doing damage, but holds back just enough so it doesn't go too overpowered. That paired with the excellent melee weapons to attack enemies in close range and a fast dodge to quickly escape an attack give it a fluidity that felt natural. There's no blocking, so you have to keep moving if you want to survive. Once you get in a rhythm, taking down a horde of combatants with well-placed headshots or a swift strike of your axe paired with a shotgun blow to finish them off felt thrilling. Being able to quickly adapt to any situation at the spur of the moment is necessary for success. Through the game, Remnant may decide to turn up the difficulty randomly and throw too many bosses and a horde of grunts just to shake things up. This is signaled by a change in music and a high-pitched noise that induced an incredible amount of anxiety every time it happened. One important thing you should get used to is dying, and dying often. At times, Remnant's difficulty spikes feel a bit absurd. In an early part of the game, I encountered a boss that delivered an incredible amount of damage with waves of inflamed grunts that appeared randomly throughout the level you're fighting in. On top of that, my weapons felt weak, as if I were fighting in an area I shouldn't have been in yet. It almost seemed necessary to bring a team along for the ride to take it down. Fortunately, unlike other Souls-like games, Remnant is much more forgiving about leaving you with your items after you die. The challenge is there, but it takes away the frustration of losing everything you've acquired up until the point of death. Overall, Remnant from the Ashes is a stellar game that executes the Souls-like gameplay mechanics very well. Even though the difficulty spice can feel a bit unbearable at times, Remnant offers a satisfying gameplay experience that feels fluid and fun from beginning to end. 